Hey everybody, I am Chuck Rogers. I am a licensed marriage and family therapist and a licensed professional counselor. And I'm Keith Dunn, and I am a network engineer. And he's a wonderful one at that. And together we are Tabletop Coffee, where we talk about how to do life, do it well, be bold, and never ever... Never better. No. Yeah. And tonight we're going to talk about how your brain talks to you, and that's okay. Just don't buy what it says. Make sure that you talk back to it. I love the idea that I can talk back to my brain. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll show you how it's done. We're going to talk about some great stuff tonight. Well, you were with me. Yes. Tonight we got the keys to the building and came in and yes. looked at this new space for Windhurst Counseling Center. Yeah. And we walked around in the building that night. And, you know, then they demolished 4,000 square feet of it. Right. And they're redoing the exterior as well. And it's uh, come a long ways. We're hoping to be done in uh, just a couple weeks, actually, with that space out there. And then we're trying to decide and what we're going to do with this particular space <laughs> as well. Yeah. But it's been through a lot of transition in a very short period of time. It really has. And... You know, when we were talking this morning about all of the different phases that you went through, mm -hmm. why don't you tell us about how you felt initially and where you are now and what was that transition process to get you to where you are now with this? Um, it's been really up and down for a while. I'm really at peace right now. I'm feeling I don't have the weight and I'm feeling very excited uh, about where we are and, and where we're going. And that's really building. And a lot of it really happened for me today. But to begin with, to come in, it, you know, we like our current space. It looks good and feels good. It takes care of us, takes care of our clients well, yeah. represents us well. Yeah, it's a beautiful space. It's just not big enough. You know, eight therapy rooms and we need more. We're, we're, right. we're blessed. we got lots of folks coming our way to get help. Yeah. And lots of great therapists on board. So we have to expand, and I knew that. So this became available, and we went into the bidding process and uh, got the bid, won the bid, but it needed a lot of work. Oh, yeah. It was nothing awful about it, sure. but it was needing work, needed updating really bad, and it wouldn't have represented us well, you know. Wouldn't have represented God well the way it no. was for us to bring people in. And so right. we had to to do this whole thing. And so we began this this adventure of redoing it. And you you saw my countenance change. I do remember that first day or for, first evening that we walked <laughs> yeah. through. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget walking around and, and sensing the weight that was on you. Yeah. Because it's the initial shock of it. Like, oh you know, gosh, there's so like, much to do. What did I do? You know, what am I sure about all of this? But watching the transition of this over the past couple of months, not just from what you will see later as far as the finished product, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, but not just from those changes, but from the changes within. Yeah. How, how did you get there to where you are now? Well, those negative thoughts. I mean, it's yeah. true. I had to try to really practice what I preach. Those negative mm -hmm. thoughts would come like, right. this is too big for you. You can't do this. Mm -hmm. um, other people do it, but you can't do it. Those kinds mm -hmm. of negative thoughts and those negative thoughts then bring fear along with yeah. them that maybe, I, maybe I, I can't do this. Maybe it won't be okay. Maybe it won't work out. Those right. kind of negative thoughts. So did you did you do any of the list making or anything that we have done in prior videos to get through any of that? Um, no, I think I just talk back to the thoughts. Okay. We say all the time that it's okay your brain it's okay that your brain talks to you. <laughs> just talk okay. back to it. Okay. Um, just because your brain tells you something doesn't mean that you have to believe it. And mm. maybe you shouldn't even believe it. So I would just talk back to it. Okay. And I had prepared myself. You know, I've been reading books on business for a long yes, time. Yes, you have. And you, we've talked about those in addition to my trade as, as a therapist. But right. I read books on business and 
Then I began to read books on commercial properties and what do people do and, you know, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert oh, yeah. Kiyosaki. Right. I, I read volume two by mistake first and then yeah. I went back and read volume one. And it was, I, some of the thoughts that I had were people do this. That's right. People do it all the time. Yes, they do. And I'm a people, right? Yes, you so are. if other people do it, this people can do this. And right. it's okay for them and it's good for them. Maybe it's even great for them. So sure. if it's good for them or great for them, then it will be great for me and it'll be great for us. Yes. And so I learned about it. I tried to, uh, you know, if you want what somebody has, you would better go where they go, do what they do, and read what they read. And so, or, or read what they've written. And so I began sure. to read these books about what people do and how they do it. And so that was encouraging to me um, to reflect back on what I had read about. So if we were to take this information that we've talked about as yeah. far as getting from point A to point B of mm -hmm. being, man, what did I get myself into to being at peace? How would you put those pieces together? What, what were those steps that got you there? Yeah. Um, I would say I prayed about it. Yeah. So I talked to God. Yes. I talked to you yeah. and other important people in my life. Right. Educate yourself as best oh, you can. Absolutely. Read. Right. And then when the negative thoughts come, because they will, <laughs> your brain talks to you, just talk back to it. Okay. Yeah. Just I think that's great. It. Yeah. I love the idea of talking back to my brain. Yeah, we have to because your brain will tell you stuff and it's usually not really good. It does that mm -hmm. in order to keep you safe. It tells you to look for bad things. Sure. But since your brain is going to talk to you, just talk back to it. Okay. I talk. like that. That's yeah. fantastic. I, I I love this tonight. And I hope you guys are mm -hmm. really enjoying the scenery that is all around us. And it's aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> It's exciting. It really is. I mean, you've got all this stuff. And anyway, we hope that you've enjoyed the episode we with hope, yeah. Tabletop Coffee tonight. Yeah. It's been enlightening and a wonderful experience to go through this mm -hmm. with Chuck. Yeah. Um, so we hope it's beneficial to you as well. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and click that bell to be notified of upcoming episodes. And also, click on the link below to Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. Yeah, book. we'll put that down below. Very helpful as well. And make sure to like it. Yeah, and it's not only helpful, but it's fun to read. It really it's is fun. It's a really good read. Until next time. Thanks, y'all.